Welcome to part three of the DIY MCP series. In part one, we created a DIY MCP server using nothing but the built-in node libraries, no MCP library there. In part two, we created a DIY MCP client. Again, no MCP libraries involved. And now in part three, we are going to connect it to an AI. So it's gonna show you the entire end-to-end -end flow. So if you haven't watched parts one and two, I strongly recommend that you do that because they're basically gonna pick up where we left off on the client and you're gonna be pretty lost. So go and check out those two. If you have, thank you so much for watching those. Let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is connect this to an AI so that we need a way to basically post a fetch to an AI endpoint give it some messages, give it some tools, and then get back a response from that. Now, there's OpenAI, there's Anthropic, there's Olama, there's Hugging Face, there's all kinds of different services for this. I'm gonna pick Anthropic, because I just happen to like Claude a lot, but you get to use whatever it is that you wanna use. Now, that being said, every one of these AI systems has a different way of doing tools. And there are libraries out there that abstract that complexity away for you. In particular, the Versal AI library is fantastic for that. So I would strongly recommend, actually, I would strongly recommend throughout this entire series using MCP libraries to build your servers and your clients and using the AI library to actually go and make these calls. We're just going to do that directly here because I really want you to understand how this works and to get rid of those abstraction layers so you really understand how this stuff works. So let's go and create our call AI function that calls Anthropic. So this call AI function is going to take the list of messages. When you talk to an AI, that's really the connection point that you have with it. You have got this chat transcript, and you're basically saying, give us the next item in this list of messages. So it takes messages as input, and it's also going to have an array of tools. Now, that can be undefined or be an empty array. But when you've got tools, it's going to be the meta definition of those tools. You're not going to actually give it the actual tool itself. You're not going to give it any way to execute that tool directly. You're just going to give it the information about the name and the input schema, which we just happened to get from MCP. So that makes it really easy. Now, with all that, we're going to call fetch. So in this case, I'm going to call the Anthropic API with V1 messages. I'm going to give it my Anthropic API key. Of course, you get to give it yours the version, and then we're going to say that we're going to post it JSON, and the body of our post is going to be stringify JSON. We're going to use Claude, give it a decent size of max tokens, and then give it the messages and the tools. Now, once that returns, we're going to get the JSON back and get the content out of there. So, you know what? Just to kind of start off, let's just call it, make sure that we're connected. So I'm going to create an array of messages with just one message in it. It says, from me, say hello. And then we're going to call that. Then I'm going to comment out the rest of the code. So now we basically got a way to make sure that our connection to the AI works. So we've got a decent AI key. Let's go and run it. And there we go. Hello, how are you doing today? This is a decent response from Claude. I'm fine. Thank you, Claude. And good to know that we are connected and have a good key. Okay, so now we got that in hand. Let's remove that and uncomment out our code. And now let's create a new option in our list of menu options. In addition to resource and tool, we're going to have an option for asking the AI a question. Okay, let's drop down here. And when the action is AI, we'll prompt the user for some text. For example, what kinds of drinks do you have? And we'll check to see if they canceled. So far, so good. Let's create our messages array. And now what we want to do is we actually want to call AI, but we want to call it with those tools. So let's create another closure in here. Because we have access to tools up here, let's go create a closure in here. And we'll call it call AI with tools. We'll give it the messages. And then we'll do that call AI function that we just tested. We'll give it those messages, but we'll also give it our tools. And we have those because we're now in the same closure with it. And all we got to do is just take the name and the description, but also change <laughs> input camel case schema to input underscore schema, because that's the way that Anthropic wants it. Otherwise, it's exactly the same thing. And that's it. That's all it really takes to proxy through the MCP server tools all the way through to the Anthropic AI. You just got to make that one little change in there. Otherwise, the format is exactly the same. So down in our AI section, 
we'll make that call with our tools. And let's just console log out the prompt result and, and kind of see where we are. We've done a lot so far. We haven't really tested it much. So let's go do that. Okay, so we've connected to our MCP server, the coffee shop server. Let's go and ask the AI a question. What drinks do you have? All right, so we got back an array, and that array says, one, some text. I can check that the drinks are available. Let me retrieve that information. And then we got this really cool thing here. We got tool use, right? So it's telling us, hey, it's Anthropic, and it's calling us, the little DIY client MCP system that we've got, you have to call this get drink names for me. I don't have access to that. So you need to call that and then give me a tool result. Add that to the list of messages, call me again, and then I'll go and answer the question. So let's make that happen. So first thing we wanna do is add to our list of messages what we got back, and we wanna go and output any text. So we wanna say, give it that, hey, I'm gonna go and look for you text that we got back in there. And then we're gonna to go to see if there's a tool use in there. I'm gonna do a pretty primitive. I'm just gonna say, if the last item in the line was tool use, then we're gonna go make that call. So let's go say that we're requesting a tool call in big, bright blue. Then we'll actually make its tool call. So we're going to do tools call just like we did when we selected it with the prompt. But we're going to let it decide what the name of the tool to call is as well as the arguments. So we're actually proxying through from the AI what it wants to ask that MCP tool. Then we're going to get back the MCP content from that. Remember, this is an MCP call to our server. And we're going to take that response. We're going to add it onto the messages transcript. It's going to say that the response is coming from us as the user, but as of a type of tool result. Now, we do need to go and link the IDs. So we had that tool use ID incoming from what the AI sent us originally. We want to go and say that this is the result of that call so they can kind of track those two things together. Now that we've got our new list of messages, we want to call the AI again because now we've got the result in that messages. So we want to give it an opportunity to go and look through the result that came back from the MCP server and give us a new output. So we'll call it again. We'll call that the follow-up result. And then we'll console log out any text in that follow-up result. All right, let's give it a go. Okay, again, we'll ask the AI, what drinks do you have? All right, so there we go. We have the text and the tool call from the initial AI response. Then we made the call to the MCP server to get the drink names. We gave it back that data. We added that to the message list, then called the AI again. And that follow-up result is what we got here, which is we are, have these drinks available, latte, mocha, and flat white. And that is perfect response. Fantastic. All right, let's see what it does with an argument. So let's say, uh, what's the price of a mocha? So that's gonna have to ask for get drink info for a mocha. All right, cool, get drink info, name mocha, six bucks, overpriced, but fine. Espresso and chocolate, fantastic. All right, there you have it, the entire flow, all the way from creating an MCP server, invoking it, getting its list of tools, adding that list of tools to an AI request, getting the tool use request from the AI, making that call to the MCP server, sending it back, getting the follow-up, all of it without any abstraction layers. If you have any questions or comments about it, be sure to put that in the comment section right down below. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button and click on that bell. You'll be notified the next time a new blue collar coder comes out.